A hard pill to swallow. The untimely death of her firstborn son is an inexpressible pain. The last time she spoke to him, he was informing her about how excited he was about the race, even showing her his running gear so that she could spot him on the television during the race. Little does she know that this would be their last conversation ever. While I was busy watching the comrades looking out for my son, my daughter came running in with other family members crying, and I asked them what was wrong. They kept on saying something bad happened to Pakamile. He collapsed and died. I just stood there because I didn't believe what they were saying, because I just saw him earlier. Njiza was born and raised in Garicha, where he spent the better part of his life. At an early age of 13, he would wake up as early as 5 a.m. and go for a run, and then hit the gym, religiously. Second to his 17-year-old daughter, running was what he loved most. I don't know what I am going to do without him. He was everything to me. He was also the breadwinner in this family. I don't know how we are going to cope without him. He was always the first person I ran to when I needed something. He was always kind, very soft-spoken, never raising his voice. One of the kindest people I have ever known. Although an athlete for years, this was the first time Jiza was competing at Comrades. He collapsed shortly before reaching Drummond, the halfway point of the race, and was declared dead when the NEDCA medical team arrived on the scene. We are so hurt by what has happened. It's still so hard to believe that he is normal. I don't know how we will ever heal from this pain especially because he was never sick. He was fine. He talked to us just a few minutes before the race, and he was okay. Now he is normal. It's so hard to accept. Jesus' memorial service will be held virtually next week Wednesday, and he'll be laid to rest on the 10th of September. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News. Carrija.